From the Linmar Video and Technology Center, we are LMTV, Linmar Television. A total look at everything happening on your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morrow, Linmar. It's Wednesday, April 11th, 2012. And here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story. Three Limar athletes will be signing their letters of intent at a ceremony in the Media Center today after school. Please come and watch Emily Burke, who will be signing with the Minnesota State University for swimming, Quinn Triberger, who will be playing for St. Ambrose University, and Trevor Berry, who will be playing golf for Roosevelt University. Wish them luck at their signings. Again, that's today after school in the Media Center. We have a new chords alert. Seniors, all CORDS volunteer hours are due to Mr. Becker by May 1st. Any cards received after that date will not count towards your total for graduation. See Mr. Becker with any questions. Sophomores, some of you have done your NWA test. Good for you. Now you can move on with your life. For those sophomores who have not taken the NWA, stop by the attendance office and see Jeannie Hagen. Don't procrastinate. Get it done soon. We'll be back with more LMT News right after this. Spring is here. That means nice days and big storms. Be ready for any kind of weather with the LMTV weather team. Maddie Spencer, Josh Rich, and Jordan Webster Moore will let you know how to dress for the weather and when to take cover from an approaching storm. The LMTV weather team, the team to trust. Seniors, Marion Times needs your senior photos. Get them to Honey Sue in the main office by May 1st. Make sure your name is printed on the back. Remember, you can now get iced coffee at the Lazy Lion Lounge. Try their mocha and French vanilla flavors for just $2 each. Check it out. Iced coffee at the Lazy Lion Lounge. Now Jeremy joins us for today's sports. Jeremy? On the scoreboard, boys track at the Clark Weaver Lions Relay. Lamar took first out of eight teams. Jack Klupnick took first in the shot put. Nick uh, Sunkid took, won the 400. Josh Evans took the top spot in the 3200. Brandon Opoff came in first in the 110 hurdles. Uh, guys also took first in the 1600 relay, the distance medley relay, the shuttle hurdle relay. John Howdershell took first in the 100, 200, and 400 wheelchair. Our girls track team also took first at the Warrior Invitational at Kingston. The girls took first in the 3200 relay, the shuttle hurdle relay, 1600 distance medley relay, and the 1600 relay. Courtney Major took first in the 200. Boys soccer beat Hempstead 2-1. Eric Fowle scored both goals with assists from Aaron House. Boys tennis beat Dubuque Senior 9-0. Congratulations to all teams. Today in Limar Sports, JV Girls Golf will meet Xavier at Twin Pines. Team dismissed at 2.05 p.m. In other sports news, if you are planning on going out for softball, sign up in the athletic office. Order a Limar Lion baseball t-shirt with your favorite player's name and number on the back. Cost is $10. Orders are due Friday. That's sports. Georgie, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And news from the counselors. A representative from the University of Iowa will be in the counseling office at Friday at 2 p.m. Juniors and sophomores, it's time to start thinking about college classes for next year. Earn both high school and college credit, and no cost to you. See your counselor for more information for fall and summer re registrations. For more on these stories and more, stop by the counseling office or check out their website. Now Connor joins us with the Arts and Clubs. Connor? Thank you, Georgie. Math team will meet after school today in room F-157. They will be discussing the fundraiser and state competition. Theater techies, if you are available to run a spotlight for Grand March, please see Mrs. Fry today. Non-band members have the opportunity to the audition for the Marching Lions Color Guard. Sign up in the band room hallway or contact one of the directors for more information. Members of the contest speech leadership team must meet in Mrs. Fry's room Thursday morning. That's your club update. Georgie, back to you. Thanks, Connor. Today on Channel One, what would you do if you won the lottery? Would you return to work? Three teachers from Maryland won $218 million in the lottery, but they say they will continue to work at their school. Their story today at 3 on LMTV. Now Jeremy joins us with today's lunch. Jeremy? It's crispitos with cheese sauce, refried beans, pear slices. The other lines will offer the all-beef hot dog bar, pizza, or a la carte items. The food court opens the pasta bar. That's lunch. Back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. Now Josh joins with your midweek forecast. Josh? Today is going to be sunny skies with a high around 54 degrees. Tomorrow, sunny, chance of storms after 4 p.m. 
a high around 56 degrees, and Friday, no chance of storms, with a high around 62 degrees. Have a great day. Back to you. Thanks, Josh. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Make it a great day and join us again tomorrow.